Dude, something's not right with the mosquitoes this year. I thought it was just our family that was getting eaten alive. And then I saw a thread on r slash Vancouver that was like, has anyone noticed how crazy the mosquitoes are this year? And every single post is like, yes, there's 10 times more of them this year than usual. And not only are they more aggressive, but their bites cause more irritation as well. Like, it's, it's a new world out here, man. I don't know. I'm, I just genuinely, I don't know if it's smoke or a lack of rain or, a, or what it is, but it's crazy. My wife, she's, you know, like a month ago, she got the, I, I can't say this without sounding like I'm from Deliverance, but this is the name of the illness. She, she had Skeeter syndrome a month ago. And then we came back from Florida like 10 days ago and she's got Skeeter syndrome again. She got bit on, on her ankle and it swole up like, uh, I, don't, I don't know what fruit to use. I guess it's not a fruit. I guess I would say it swole up to the size of a quail egg. <laughs> it's crazy. Do you think you have the mosquito gene that means you get bit more often? I would have to imagine that I do. I don't get that bothered by mosquito bites. Like they, they don't swell up too much and they don't itch too much. But when me and my wife go outside, she might get like two, three, four mosquito bites. I might get like 15 to 20. Right leg, I got one, two, three, four, five on the front that I can see. Left leg, I got one, Two, three, four, seven on the front that I, so that's 12 on the front of my legs. <laughs> How do you prevent yourself from scratching them? Well, like I, I, everything in this world comes with some good and some bad, right? It's a, a matter of how you frame it. I get bit a lot, but they don't itch that much. It's not like a, a stoic sort of triumph for me. They're just, I, I think compared to the average person, I, maybe I secrete less histamines or something. Or maybe because I get bit so often, I have like less histamine to go around to each mosquito bite. I did read in that r slash Vancouver thread, people were like, here's a tip for what to do with mosquito bites. I did not tell this to my wife because I think that it's just too much work, honestly. You run a spoon over incredibly hot water until the spoon heats up and then you put the spoon over the mosquito bite. And apparently, there, people used to think that it denatures the proteins, but apparently the, that's like not plausible that a spoon at the temperature of like, you know, hot water would denature the pro proteins enough. But apparently it does deactivate the histamines that you've secreted or something like that. We're going a little long today. I don't know, so I don't know the exact schedule, but from 9 to 1, we'll be playing things. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, if I get motion sick or bored or annoyed, maybe we'll pivot to something else. At 1 p.m. sharp, we're celebrating, vis-a-vis -a, -vis a sponsorship, um, the official Steam release of Marvel Snap, when we'll be, which we'll be playing for two hours. Every other streamer you follow will probably also be playing Marvel Snap for two hours. For those of you astute at arithmetic, that means we will be live one hour later than usual. Motherfuckers be like, huzzah. <laughs> I, don't <know. laughs> I don't know where that came from. It just seemed kind of funny. But you all know somebody who says huzzah, right? Teacher would be like, that, oh, sorry, I, we didn't finish the lesson tonight. That means you guys don't have any homework. Huzzah. Come on, you don't know one huzzah? Everybody knows one huzzah user. You know, if you don't know a single Huzzah user, you probably are a Huzzah user. I was not a Huzzah user. I was just a, like, I know this sounds like something that someone would say if it weren't true, but it's also, so, it sounds like something someone would say if it were true. I was just a normal person in high school. I talked, but I didn't talk too much. I wasn't the best dressed, but I wasn't the worst dressed. I was just... It was kind of like prison. I just went there and I, I did what I was asked. I did my time. I was rewarded for good behavior and I got out. I didn't have a Zelda shirt, okay? I don't think I had any video game shirts in high school, but that's not... If, if the culture of having video game shirts like graphic tees existed from 02 to 06, 
then I would have been wearing video game shirts. But the graphic tee explosion and the intersection of that with the rise of nerd culture kind of existed just slightly, slightly after my time. Like we didn't really have like a graphic tea store in my hometown. We didn't have a Hot Topic. You could get like some, some skater gear at West 49, but you couldn't just go to, you know, like nerdcrate.com and, and buy a shirt that was like Jolly Cooperation with Solera on it or something like that. I had graphic tees in high school a decade ago. Yeah, that was seven years after I graduated from high school. Your ass is not that old. Damn, you old? I know. I had graphic tees. Corey, they weren't, they weren't video games, though. They were band shirts, right? And you probably bought them at shows, you disingenuous fuck. Your ass was not going to threadless.com in 1999 and being like, give me a shirt with Temmy from Undertale on it. You were going to some hardcore show in a church basement where there was like a folding table with a bunch of band shirts on it. That's not what they're talking about, okay? Now, in, in university, I had a lot of very cringe graphic shirts. Ever tell you, like, in, in maybe 2000, I still have this shirt. It's a, it's a lore-heavy shirt. My wife got me a shirt from Threadless in, like, 2013. It's a pale yellow shirt with a hamburger on it and then some Japanese text. And under the hamburger, it says, Tokyo Burger Run 86. And one time, this is, like, 10 years ago, one time I wore it uh, to the airport and the security agent said, nice shirt, were you in that run? And I was like, I was negative two years old when this fake thing took place. Like, do you know how insulting that is? You know how old I would have to be to have an adult shirt from 1986 that still fit me? That would be insane. In a way, he's saying I look young, but that I look young for someone who's like uh, in their 60s. What'd you say, though? I said, no, I wasn't born. Sometimes, and, and this is just the natural process of time, but it does, it kind of messes with me to think about the fact, like, I was born in 1988. My daughter was born in 2020. So when I was born in 1988, this is crazy to think about. The 50s were, like, essentially 40 years ago. That, that takes you back to 1948, but I also don't have too many memories from being like 18 months old. So when I was a young child, 40 years ago was the 50s. And it seemed like ancient history. To my daughter, 40 years ago is basically going to be like the mid 80s. So her perception of the 1980s may be similar to my perception of the 1950s, which is fucking hilarious. Because the 1950s are like, hey, come on, gal, hop in my Buick and let's go to the malt shop and then to the sock hop. And then the 80s to me, they don't feel like the present day, but they don't feel like, you know, too divorced from modern reality. It just seems like, uh, you know, pastel suits, cocaine and like different hairstyles. But for her, the 1980s are going to be like, I can't even, like, me hearing a Frank Sinatra song is going to be like, um, her hearing Tears for Fears. Her hearing the talking heads. You know what I was thinking? The 1980s were built different. How did the talking heads become popular? I know that the, the pithy answer is because they're good, but like, in the modern day, most and okay, you, listen, you're gonna say okay boomer, but then you're going to agree with me. So let's just get through that okay boomer stuff. From the 2010s and beyond, a lot of the most popular artists in the world are pure ass. Not every popular artist is pure ass. I'll pour one out for Dua Lipa. I got some respect for Beyonce. I'm sure there's, there's others. That was true in the 80s too. It might be. I don't know. Um, Ed Sheeran. I said what I said, although I do like the song about shivers. I love it when you suck me like that and when you close it. Give me the shivers, two, three, and baby, we're gonna go till I split your crack. And when you see the body's over, then you throw it right back. Cause I said, ooh, something's that, 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 was I close? He doesn't say that. He says something like that. You make me feel like I'm living a tea 
Mage, dream, the way you suck me off, I go. And don't ever look, baby, with your ripped up jeans and your skin tight jeans and your teenage jeans tonight. That's a banger, too. But you didn't have to suck me off. <laughs> Pull my underpants down and throat my member. But you didn't have to bite it off and spit it out and get and it feels so low. <laughs> what? Something like it's so I didn't write the song, dude. It's something like that, okay? Leave those parodies to Justin. I still think about it every time I hear the song, which is like every 80s ride on Peloton. John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane. Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's wearing a winter coat. He's got a pillow underneath his knees. Let them rock. Let them roll. Let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. I think about your piss is on my lips like all the time. Because your piss, your piss is on my lips. Because your piss, your piss, I can't resist. Because your piss is on my lips. When I turn out the lights. <laughs> I have Vanessa Carlton's song stuck in my head, except it's sucking a dick downtown, sucking fast, stations passed and I'm homebound. <laughs> Do -do 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 -do. And I throat you. I don't know why I'm using throat. I guess because you gotta, you need a lot of synonyms for suck in order to make the song feel clever. And I piss you. Do -do 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 -do. Everybody, just relax, okay? Got great news. Mister Magic has escaped from the family house. I would like to get an unlocking tool for myself because I feel like that's where I was. Kind of letting my squad down. That seems bad. That seems bad. I'm, I'm gonna go. That was the first time in this game I've experienced genuine fear. <laughs> that scared the heck out of me. Okay, I'm gonna shut off the generator so we can escape, brother. There's nobody around? Okay, don't sprint, you piece of junk. I'm going to disable the generator. Do a Lipa song. I'm generating. I'm generating. You know, my heart was in the right place. Let's go! Let's go! Hands down, the best squad I've ever been with. Give me my feet back, please. He's not going to catch me. There's no shot he's catching me. We're going to make it. I can hear somebody speaking behind me. Too bad. I've escaped. I've made it to the highway. I'm not looking behind me, man. <laughs> Ooh, that was a good round. I should just leave, right? Is there any... <laughs> Let me keep it a buck fifty with you guys. Wait, let me try that again from the start. I'm gonna keep it a buck fifty with every with you, everybody. Everybody you meet in this game is a snake. You can't trust anybody. They're all out for your blood points. There's snakes everywhere in this industry. Grandpa level one. Keep still to avoid detection by grandpa. I'm I'm out of here. I'm sorry, Julie. I just I, I can't watch you and then get bad victim habits because I'm honestly thinking there's a chance this becomes the next eSport and I want to make it to EVO. I'm going to be sunny at EVO. It's going to be me versus Daigo and Mango and all the other O's. Leffen. I don't know. <laughs> Again, the company formerly known as Twitter, it's got me pegged in a couple of different ways and none of them are the way that you're thinking based on my verbiage. It thinks I love the National Basketball Association, which I'm learning to. I am learning to. It thinks I'm obsessed with um, legitimizing animated children's films as Kino Cinema, which I am not, but I must have clicked on a Spider-Verse tweet at some point, and now it just assumes that I want to hear, you know, all about 
Raya and the Last Dragon and, uh, you know, the box office performance of Elemental and stuff like that. It also thinks I love Super Smash Brothers. And I, I suppose in some ways I, I, I like Super Smash Brothers, but I'm not tuned into like the melee competitive scene at all. But it serves me competitive melee tweets 25 times a day. Like now I have to have an opinion on is it okay to um, rope your opponent? Well, you know, they had a stock advantage, so why would... It's a principle of fighting games that if you have a stock advantage and there's a timer ticking down to zero, then why would you be forced to approach them? They have to approach you. Yeah, but at the same time, you've got to think about um, what uh, the, the experience is for the spectator. Melee esports has always been uh, a little bit... Uh, it, it's, it's on its last legs or something like that. I don't really know. That. I'm not trying to offend anybody, but... At the same time, you know, it's, uh, we've got to entertain the audience. Otherwise, the audience will leave and start watching Valorant. You're part of the discourse? Well, I just think it's funny that everybody's... Now we've got... First off, five years ago, everybody was talking about maybe we should ban uh, Jigglypuff because Hbox's Jigglypuff is so dominant that it makes the, the competitive meta not enjoyable to watch. And now Hbox is out here saying we've got to ban Steve from Ultimate because uh, Steve is making the competitive Ultimate scene too boring to watch. Like, it's just... I don't know what's going on, man. I don't know what any of these things are, but I get served the tweets... Like a hundred times a day. I don't think I've ever seen one. I, I, it's not an anti melee thing. I just like, I don't think I've ever seen almost any esport except for that like one summer that I was like in the competitive Dota. And then I got married. <laughs> Which they may or may not be related to me washing out of the esports industry. I'm just saying, they, those two events did happen you know, within like three months of one another. I had to make a choice. Men, in front of you, there are two paths. Who was your favorite Dota team? I mean, I'm, you gotta remember, I'm old as dirt. I think I was always rooting for Na'Vi because they had Dendi. And I, I enjoyed Dendi's troll tactics. Like, for example, doing a Vengeful Spirit swap to place an opponent on a, an island where they could no longer escape from. Or fountain hooking, hooking someone with Pudge into the fountain uh, so they would get killed by your Ancient. I guess that's not the Ancient, but you know what I mean. Well, I'm, I'm, this is what's called a gravity assist. This is why Steph Curry is so good in the NBA. Just my presence on the court is... Uh, pulling so much aggro that the rest of my team has a lot more court to work with right now. Jason Killer 413 has escaped from the basement. Dude, I'm happy to see. I love crossplay because I haven't played a console game online in forever, right? Hello, hello. Take them, take them instead. <laughs> but I love seeing that um, gamer tag. What the hell was that? I love seeing that gamer tag meta has not changed in like the 20 years that I haven't played a console game. Like back in my day, everyone was named like Smitty420 underscore 187. I guess people might have had their PlayStation accounts for like basically 20 years at this point. There's always a guy named Waffle. <laughs> That's true. There's always a dude named like Kill Yo As underscore 187. I don't know. Is it 187 is like the police code for murder, right? For a homicide. So I think when people are coming up with their gamer tag, they're like, I want to be the best shooter. And then they're like, that one's been taken. And then they're like, the best shooter has been taken. And they're like, okay, how about the best shooter 187? What's the police code for uh, driving while inebriated? I want to start a new gamer tag and it will be Ram1500 owner underscore whatever the code for drunk driving is. <laughs> That's not funny. That's. 
It's real. It's too real. Okay. Does this make noise? <laughs> I knew I shouldn't have uh, called in sick on my electrical engineering course. Ooh! No! We, we dodge those? I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh! oh crawl, crawl! <laughs> Honestly, I think we did a pretty good job. If we didn't get stuck in the trap, we probably would have made it out of that one. Honestly, it, it, that wouldn't happen to me because I would like to think that my, my stamina would, would be a little bit higher than that because I just crossed 15,000 minutes on the Peloton in 2023. That's right. Fif not hours. That would be crazy, but 15,000 minutes. I don't know. I'm, ge I'm getting a lot of sures. Can we get, a, uh, can we get a, a Kip Casper audit, please, to say whether or not I got my 15,000 minutes badge? Getting awfully parasocial with your Peloton fan club. Excuse me, I'm, I'm a fan club. I'm in the Kip Casper fan club. He's living rent-free in my head. This is a 60-minute ride, 937 output or something like that. I've been pushing uh, pretty hard. I've been, uh, the average is getting up in the 205, 210 range. I got a long way to go, but still, I have made it. Kip Casper, can you validate that I've, I've crossed? I, can you validate that I got my purple badge today, okay? And you're gonna check the workouts, okay? I'm not insulting the way anybody else chooses to exercise, okay? But my 15,000 minutes of Peloton, we're not buffing that with like, oh, I take my daughter for a, a two hour walk so she can fall asleep in the stroller. We're not getting those, those cheap two hour walks in there. We're not getting 10 minute uh, sleep meditation every single night. That's riding the damn bike Lifting some damn weights, full stop. Sometimes doing some crunches. Kip confirmed it. All right, good. <laughs> okay, level one grandpa. This seems like a, a fair match right now. We're gonna stand still. And then we're gonna move. Motherfucker. <laughs> This is what's called a gravity assist. I should leave this door open for my teammates. <laughs> I went to a barbecue with Kate this weekend and met some strangers. We were talking about video games. And I met an enlightened wizard of competitive video games. He said his favorite video game is Rocket League. And I said, oh, I love Rocket League, but uh, I can't play it because it makes me too toxic. And he said, I know. Everybody who plays it, it was, he, he said it was the first online multiplayer game he'd ever played, which is crazy because he was like in his 40s. And uh, he said, I missed a shot and somebody told me to kill myself. So ever since then, I've disabled all the communications functions in the game and I've played it for a thousand hours. And I was like, this guy's got it all figured out, man. Why didn't I think of that? Instead, whenever someone tells me to kill myself because I missed a shot in Rocket League, I'm like, I'm not going to kill myself, you know. <laughs> Listen, you piece of crap. I, I go like goodwill hunting on them, right? That dude is a monk. Absolutely true. It's not your fault. No, 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 not that kind of goodwill hunting. I go like the goodwill hunting where I'm like, of course you tell me to kill myself. It's the best insult you've ever heard. And when you hear um, you should take a toaster bath, that'll be your favorite insult too until you get into insults 201 and then you'd call me a troglodyte. Bro, don't stand there, he's gonna thrust. We're getting so many gravity assists right now, it's not even funny. What's a gravity assist? A gravity assist is when, in basketball, when you getting double coverage from your opponents leads to your teammate being open and scoring. It's a, an attempted way to measure your, your perceived threat level on the court. It's Steph Curry's ult, exactly. Steph Curry pops his ult, 
it taunts all defenders within a one court range. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> I got a I got a risk detection from grandpa. I eat all my snacks with a soup spoon now. You should try it. There's less mess. It just doesn't seem I mean, I'll just wash my hands. I can understand. It's a young man's desire to live your life in such a way that you can do like one less plate worth of dishes, you know? I always think about that when people are like, I use the same cutting board for everything, and then I just keep all the food on the cutting board, and then I cook it all in one pan and one pot. I'm like, congratulations. For all, no, there's nothing wrong with it, but after all that, you've saved yourself three minutes. Like, what are you going to do with it? You've already got people with like unlimited free time are like, here's how I time max my life. Like, make it make sense. And then you ever see someone with like a full time job, four kids, hobbies, you know, 8% body fat, no hair, etc, cetera, etc. Cetera. And then you're like, how do you get it all done? And they're like, I just do it. There's no, there's no trick. You got a lot of dishes, what do you do? Instead of playing Legends of Runeterra, as soon as you finish dinner, you put on some music and you knock out the damn dishes. Also, I thought of a good tweet, but I can't make it because I'm married. I want you to Google image search Finnish Powerball dishwasher pod, and then I want you to find a picture where the bright red Powerball is oriented close to the top, and then it's got the two pods of dish soap one might say making a little hood over top of it. And then I, you're going to take that image, you're going to copy and paste it into your tweet, and then the body of the tweet is going to say, I should call her. Too complicated? This is in ninth grade computer technology class in 2001, okay? I asked you to do a Google image search. Who are you, Joe Biden? Can you explain the bit? I can exp I, if I have to explain it more explicitly, I can. Um, but I'll explain it with a little allegation here first they knew what they were doing when they made the dishwasher pod look like that what does it look like if you don't know i'm not gonna tell you i'm not horny for the dishwasher pod i'm just saying they were horny when they made it it's a bit of a stretch of all the shapes they possibly could have chosen all I'm saying is I've been using Tide Pods for four or five years. Tide Pods do not have a clitoris. It's just soap. But the Finnish corporation, they were... <laughs> they got some horny freaks down in product development at, at Finnish HQ, okay? What are you talking about? Look it up, man! Look what up? Finnish Powerball Dishwasher Pod. 75 count. I'm honestly, we're, we're getting very close to like ban anyone for saying this dude is too horned up recently. People have been saying this dude is too horned up for like eight years. There's obviously not a gas leak. If there was a gas leak, I would be dead. It's been true for eight years. Well, then you knew what you were getting into. Like if, if it's the status quo, then why are you surprised? That's like a, that's a pebcac issue, brother. Also, you can mention the female anatomy without being horny. It's not like, you know, gynecologists are spending the whole day horned up. That would be, like, extremely problematic. You know, I'm sure when my urologist was working on my, my damn sack, he wasn't like, oh, fuck. You know, he was probably just like, oh, I wonder what I'm going to have for dinner tonight. Slice, rip, stitch. Hey, nurse, can you get the extra sticky um, medical tape? to put on our uh, patient's pubic hair so when they try to take the medical dressing off, it hurts more than the fucking surgery. Thoughts on day-old chili being better than fresh chili? There's something crazy about soup, for sure. Soup always tastes better the next day. Soups, stews, the flavor just comes together. I know because I made a soup last night. And I was so excited to just put it in the fridge and let it come together overnight. But then my wife was like, let's have soup for dinner so I don't have to cook. And I was like, it's hard to make the argument. Like, no, 
We can't eat the fresh food that I made. We got to let it simmer in the fridge for a day, you know, bust out the, the rice cooker and the stock pot. But that's all right, because I made a, a whole bunch. So I still got at least like five or six bowls of the, of the soup available here. But I'm excited to eat it for lunch today. What kind of soup? I'm going to get more minus twos for this than I've got for almost any take in my entire life. I just have to restart the game because it... I didn't have valid credentials anymore. Speaking objectively, and my wife will tell you the same thing, I'm a pretty good soup creator, okay? The soups that I make, they have layers, they're herby, the ingredients within them taste delicious on their own and even better in the melange together. My take on soup is if you're trying to make like a specific soup, follow a recipe. What I do when I'm making a soup sometimes, I just think of the kind of soup that I'm interested in. And last night I said, I could go for like a, a chicken and vegetable soup. And then I just bought chicken and vegetables and I just, I don't know how to describe this. <laughs> I, I bought celery, onions, and carrots because you always need a mirepoix to form the base of your soup. I bought some chicken. I chopped it all up, let the mirepoix simmer for a while. Lots of salt, lots of pepper, threw the chicken in. Lots of salt, lots of pepper, stirred it up until the chicken was all done. Chunked red potatoes, put them in over top. Chicken broth until it was covering all the ingredients. And then I just threw in herbs and seasonings until it tasted like I wanted it to taste. Started with a little pinch of oregano, pinch of basil, several pinches of cumin, little bit of smoked paprika, let it simmer for a bit. I said, you know what? It doesn't have enough depth. Went into the fridge, took out some Worcester sauce. Blah, 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 blah. Couldn't tell you how much I used. Looked at the broth. I said, this isn't quite brown enough. It's a little bit too on the yellow-orange spectrum. I want it to be a little bit browner. I went blah, 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 blah. Let it simmer for a little bit. And I said, you know what? This is missing something. And I realized I'd forgotten bay leaves. I put three bay leaves in it. Let it simmer for a little bit. That's exactly what I want. The end. So what, what kind of soup did I make? I don't know. It was just, uh, it was improv and it turned out delicious. And you know what's crazy? It, a, it's not hard. It's not like you have to be a genius to do it. But B, it always comes out. It never, you might think that because you're cooking without a recipe, like one in five would be a complete disaster. They always come out eight to 10 out of 10. It's easy. What was the part that we were going to generate minus twos for? Because, you know, you guys are so organic chemistry pilled. No! You got a... J. Kenji Lopez Alt says the mirepoix is an antiquated relic of French cuisine. It's vestigial. Oh, in the modern era, you have to... Oh, and you use chicken breasts instead of chicken thighs. Don't you know that the fat profile... Oh, you didn't put a, a, a cheesecloth wrapped... Uh, Parmesan cheese rind into the broth in order to let the nuttiness soak into the... Because you, you guys order DoorDash for dinner six nights a week. But then every single time a streamer talks about cooking, they're like, hey, you should really try this insane recipe from America's Test Kitchen, co-written by Heston Blumenthal. What'd you have for dinner last night? Oh, uh, four things from the McDonald's value menu and two extra large root beers. Doesn't make any damn sense. YBM, J. Kenji, Alt, Lopez, Lopez, Alt? I didn't. Obviously, they're very good at what they do because all you motherfuckers are very familiar with their entire catalog of work. I'm BMing you specifically. The guy you're BMing isn't real? Okay, then why are you crying? If I'm making fun of someone who's not real, you should be like, get his ass. You're telling me that the guy I'm making fun of is not real. Meanwhile, your eyes are bright red. I think he is real. And I think he's, he's closer than we think. Twitch chat's full of know-it-alls with no life experience. Listen, maybe most Twitch chats, not mine though. Hey, if, if you're not a know-it-all with no life experience, the prime button is right there, okay, in the bottom right. That being said, I think it's, just, it's not Twitch, it's just the internet in general. We were talking about mosquitoes earlier, and, and someone said this. Like, they, they weren't being toxic. They said this, the exact same sentiment that I'm going to say. They were like, you'll be talking about how much you hate mosquitoes, and then some 
15 year old motherfucker will be like, no, you can't get rid of all mosquitoes. Mosquitoes actually contribute uh, 75 basis points of pollination. Sure, honeybees are 98.35%, but if you got rid of mosquitoes, then the birds that poop the seeds that germinate fruit trees wouldn't, uh, and you're like, I'm not gonna kill all the mosquitoes, you dumb motherfucker. Who do you think I am? Like, God himself? I don't have that kind of power. I'm just going, like, I wish when I walked outside I wasn't getting bitten 35 times. Like, I'm not Thanos. I don't have all six infinity stones. There's no danger of me eliminating an entire species from the planet, at least not directly, maybe indirectly as a result of my prodigious consumption, but, like, you, 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 this is a false dilemma, man. Without a doubt, the most annoying thing on the internet is like guy who just discovered something like 30 minutes ago making you feel bad that you haven't discovered it yet. Would you give us an example, sire? Motherfucker's trying to make me feel bad for buying Genie Plus at Disney World because of the Defunct Land video essay where the Fast Pass makes it worse for everybody. Yes, the Fast Pass makes it worse for everybody, but the Fast Pass now exists. So if you don't buy the Fast Pass, it's a lot worse for you. It might be worse for everybody, but it's like way worse for you. Hello. I took a wrong turn. Oh no. <laughs> okay, you know what? The killers are pretty good too, man. Turns out the killers are pretty good. I know where to go. We go straight back here. Oh no! Dude, that's the greatest killer I've ever seen in my life. Oh, I gotta hand it to them. They read me like a damn book. I got outplayed. Texas vacuum cleaner massacre. Still got it. Lovely Momo, Chibli, Chibli, and Lovely Momo. Dyson, no, that's not it, Chibli, Chibli, we have a Chibli, we have a Chibli, Olivia Munn, people, Olivia Munn, Olivia Munn, Olivia, Olivia, Olivia Munn, people, Olivia Munn, Chibli, Ripley's here, people, Ripley, believe it or not, Ripley's here. I believe it. Some people don't believe it. I believe it. Ripley's here with Chibli and Olivia Munn. Oh, no. Okay, so Ryan, you got to look at my leg. It's so swollen. That is, is very swollen. Like, it's swollen. Like, what's, what's this? That's a sock line. You cannot, like, feel this? Yeah. And then feel the normal. <laughs> my wife's ankle uh, is I don't know how to describe it <laughs> on the, her mosquito bite on her leg has swollen up so much that on one leg she doesn't have an ankle <laughs> yeah yeah it is, it's bad for sure Maybe it's a spider bite? I don't know. Here come the go to the Dr. Andy's in chat. Yo, I'll strap on my doctor helmet and go to Doctor Town. They don't want me, man. I really liked it when the chest said I can fix her, I can fix her. <laughs> <laughs> she do be going at boys with butter knife. You ever end up buying the the seedless grapes? Listen, here's how that tweet came to pass. The tweet was, I can't believe they even sell seeded grapes anymore. What a scam. Here's what happened. We were at a Hanam supermarket. Yeah, I'm putting them on blast. Saw a great price on grapes. Said grapes, everybody loves them. I got a two-year-old, my two-year-old loves grapes. They're like the sweetest food on the planet. Of course she loves them. My wife picks a bunch after we bought them washes them, puts them in a bowl. We take one bite, riddled with seeds. I get it, like it's, they're still edible, don't get me wrong, but it's like such a, a, a drag on the grape eating experience that I, I did feel a little bit uh, betrayed. 
Like one of the great things about grapes is you can just eat them. You know, a seeded grape, you could eat the seeds, which is fine, but they're not as good. Or you can spit the seeds out, which means you need a bowl and it, it slows down your grape eating efficiency. Just eat the seeds. Well, I'm eating the seeds, but like I'm never buying the grapes again. Especially like, we, like fruit is a heavy industry right now. There's a lot of competition. Peaches going crazy. They're coming out with new peaches once a year. Every single one is ambrosia. Kiwis, out of control. I've been eating like two kiwis a day for three months. It's incredible. The navel oranges have never been this juicy. They've altered the genome, and I pray they alter it further. Strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. Every, every fruit is fantastic right now. Nectarines, mandarins. And then you got me out here, you're like, hey, oh, just eat the seeds, just eat the seeds. Your company's not gonna make it. I'm sorry, I'm just telling you. Because I'm buying the grapes once, but I'm not buying them again. Not with all these, I'd rather double the amount of navel oranges I'm getting. If you can't figure out a way to get the seeds out of the grapes, then you're going to be left behind, brother. You're going to be the Sega Dreamcast. Nobody's going to appreciate you while you're around. You're going to go out of business. 20 years later, people will be like, that was the best console of all time. Oh, I really wish they'd bring it back. All these new fruits are GMO'd up to the gills. Yeah, but isn't that, like, um, good? Like, GMO sounds like they're hitting, like, a, an ear of corn with, like, gamma radiation. But isn't it mostly like, hey, we found like a sick kind of corn that makes the kernels 15% juicier. Let's plant that corn. Like, I'm, I'm fucking GMO, bro. When my mom got impregnated by my dad, she M'd his freaking G's, I think. And he M'd her G's. And now you see the superhero before you today. <laughs> so if you're against GMOs, as far as I'm concerned, you're, you're against yours truly. And if you're against yours truly, then we can't be friends. We, we must be enemies. There's no such thing as a GMO fruit. Excuse me? Just you wait until the video essay Andes get here and tell you about the damn Cavendish banana. You're going to regret saying that. It's finally raining in Washington. Yes! Because that means it should rain here at some point, which is important because we needed to clear the smoke away. And now the type of guy to say, boy, we sure needed this whenever it rains. Now, I'm just gonna say, I am not that guy. And that guy very much annoys me. I love the sunshine. And I get extremely, it's the same feeling as the mosquito andes when like i'm like wow it hasn't rained in a while the summer's been so nice and they're like oh really you like uh the drought conditions that we're dealing with right now and the reservoir at uh, cleveland dam is at like the lowest level it's been at in the two quarters and i'm like i listen i would also love there to be ample water i would love if we could both you know to have our way but the point is Neither of us control the weather, okay? I just enjoy the sunshine. I guess, I guess enjoying the sunshine apparently makes you a bad person. Every time it's pleasant outside and sunny and you don't need an umbrella, before you enjoy it, you have to get down and do 10 Hail Marys. Think of Cleveland Dam. Think of Cleveland Dam. Think of Cleveland Dam. I don't control the fucking weather, bro. It's sunny. I'm going outside for a walk. What am I supposed to do? shoot up like some silver iodide in a rocket ship to cloud seed? Like, I don't have that kind of expertise. I'm literally just one guy. People think like loving the rain is like a personality and it pisses me off. No, I just love to curl up in my windowsill with a good book and the pitter patter of the rain outside. Okay, download a white noise app. You can still read. You don't need a cloud to tell you when it's like time to read. Oh, I love when it's cloudy outside. Oh, you hate when plants have ample access to light, which is a necessary uh, input in order for them to create glucose, which sustains all life on Earth? Wow, okay. Sorry, I didn't realize. What even is this line of conversation? You've been watching too many debate streamers. I don't know what a line of conversation is. I'm just talking. 
This is not like streamer own self with facts and logic, okay? I'm running around in the damn catacombs here. I'm running around in the Warrens. I don't know where the fuck to go. There's no killers. Someone just escaped from the whole family. There's no killers. There's no family members. They uh, Probably that's because I left the generator off uh, at the start of the game, which I'd like to apologize for. <laughs> I was so convinced we were a survivor. I'm flabbergasted. <laughs> Well, I don't take offense. Nope, there you go. <laughs> My gameplay looks pretty similar on uh, whether I'm a survivor or the killer, honestly. I did not get many points. It's so funny that the guy who made Clips of Dover is named Eric Johnson. Oh, is it, oh the hardest guitar song of all time? Oh yeah, that one was made by uh, Bill Smith. The name like Bill Smith, you expect it to be like, yippee there'll be no wedding bells for today. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. As I roll right merry, but instead, but do 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 This is what we call a gravity assist. <laughs> I got a kill cam! I got a kill cam! Save grandpa? Bro, there's two other killers. Like, what are they doing? Oh. She got the damn jelly bones, bro. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle <laughs> as I roll right merrily along. I see ya, I see ya. Any chance you could take the, the alternate path? Don't block the, don't block the door! Oh, you, that's grandpa, brother. You're in a, you can't get, there's no way out from up there. What are you gonna do now? Oh, there is! And I need Leatherface! You genius. What are you gonna do there, though? We can just wait him out till he bleeds to death, right? He's gonna disconnect? Well, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm not leaving. I need every kill I can get in this game. This is what competitive gameplay looks like, okay? There's literally a ladder he can go down. Oh. Well. <laughs> Grandpa's hungry again? What the hell? Okay, his radar is now active, right? There he is. Is Leatherface good? Well, like, this leather face is not good. Why isn't he killing you? I'm... We're on the same team, okay? Leatherface and I are squatted up together. It might not look like I'm doing much, but... I'm doing a lot. Haven't you heard me talking about gravity assists? Uh, my kill? NL's actually carrying this time. I mean, nobody respects the econ. I, I'm probably responsible for 3.9 of Grandpa's five levels of experience, so. Okay, where's, where's the victim finale? Because Julie has been executed. The evils of Julie were all around you? Lil Jakku escaped from the family. I'm taking no responsibility for that shit, okay? <laughs> Leatherface quit. The cook did get a kill, no disrespect. And I learned a lot about what not to do with Sissy. For example, with Sissy, I, my, you, I never landed my poison. My poison was extremely bad. We gotta be better with our poison, okay? 
I can't believe I only beat the Cook by 15 points. That, that, that hurts a lot, a lot. Do you think there's an overlap between people who are plot cells for movies and people who don't watch soccer because sometimes it ends in a 0-0 draw? They'll be like, I watched soccer and nothing happened. What do you mean nothing happened? They kicked the ball around for 90 minutes. There were chances. There were shots. There might have even been a save. There were a couple of corner kicks. Like, just because it doesn't show itself on the board doesn't mean it wasn't, you know, a fun time. Have you done the bit about the guy closing his eyes for the booby scenes in Oppenheimer yet? I kind of talked about it yesterday, but I feel like the words weren't connecting that much. I mean, I, I find it insane that, like, an adult my age would, like, go to a, a movie with a sex scene and close their eyes during the sex scene. It's also weird when, like, a grown... Actually, this is, like, age inverted. When, like, a 60-year-old guy is, like, like, becomes, like, a hound dog and his tongue rolls out of his head... And he takes two cartoon guns out of his pocket and then shoots himself in the head and then his ghost floats towards his seat and then goes, Awooga! Like, I get that because, you know, you were born in the era where you were still J-O-ing, like, just to your imagination, like, 90% of the time. But when there's, like, a guy my age who's like, oh, how about that, how about that nudity scene in that movie? I was like, what are you talking about, brother? Are you Mr. Skin? You're talking about how Heather Graham wore a Boston Red Sox bra in the movie Anger Management? Like, get a life. We were watching Pearl Harbor in ninth grade gym class, or ninth grade geography class. <laughs> Technically, it takes place on Earth, so it kind of makes sense. Um, I forgot I wasn't a killer for a second because my gameplay is fundamentally the same. But um, there was one kid in like our 30 person class who covered his eyes every time the, the actors kissed. And I remember thinking, like, even in ninth grade, I was like, get a load of this guy. <laughs> and then to imagine that that guy's now 35 and his wife is making TikToks about how, like, her husband is asking her when the kissing scene is over in the movie where the guy invents, like, the most devastating weapon of mass destruction in Earth's history. I mean, I guess I do kind of get it. We had a kid, J.O., in the back row of our class. He was wearing cargo pants with quarters in his pockets. Listen, I know everybody has a story about somebody in their high school J.O.ing in class. I feel blessed. Whoops. As far as I know, I, I mean, I know for a fact I never J.O.'d in class. I also never saw anybody J.O. in class. So maybe my school, people had it a little bit more under control. Maybe they were just stealthier about it. Maybe they went to the bathroom to do it. I don't know. I once pretended to jerk off in class, and then my teacher thought I was really doing it. Okay, well, I mean, that's, you probably learned a valuable lesson that day, which is like, don't play with fire or you're going to get burned. That being said, I have a, a similar story. It's not the same story, but it's a similar story, okay? In the third grade, we went to see like a play. And it was, you know, one of those shitty plays you go to see as a field trip when you're like nine years old or whatever. It was Snow White, but like pantomime so it'd be like do you see where snow white is and you'd be like no no anyway at the end of the play i remember thinking let me down please get right clicked on i just i can't believe that that worked i remember thinking this seems bad uh wouldn't it be funny if i faked crying to convince my friends that I really was like emotionally devastated. So I, at age eight or whatever, maybe the greatest natural actor of all time, I summoned fake tears and I was like, you guys, that was so sad. Oh, that was so sad. And then they were like, hey, check it out. Ryan's crying because of Snow White. And I was like, I'm not. I was faking it. And they're like, yeah, sure. 
Yeah, you, yeah, you're faking it. What kind of eight-year-old can fake cry? Who do you think you are, Daniel Day-Lewis? But then, like, at the end of the day, you know, like, we're years later now. I gotta, I gotta just say, like, um, what did I expect them to do? Like, I literally, it went exactly as I planned. I tricked them into thinking I was crying, but in, and they did find it funny, but they found it funny at my expense. In middle school, I was in the bathroom, and I saw a kid in the next stall poop on the floor, and then I saw his hand reach down and grab the turd and throw it in the toilet. <laughs> I don't know if we have that many crazy stories from my high school. This is the craziest one that comes up all the time is when... We had like kids from a different school came to our school for a semester to do like an intensive computer science program or something like that. I'm the cook! For those kids, listen, I'm a nerd. They were also nerds. They were stereotypical nerds, whatever. One day they came into the cafeteria with an enormous block of ice and they put the ice on the lunch tables. And it, was, it was basically like a little iceberg, right? Like, it was not, like, this big. It was, like, this big. So they put it on the lunch table. It took, up, it took up the whole lunch table. And then they started going around the other tables going, like, hey, do you guys want some ice for your drinks? <laughs> do you want some ice for your drink? <laughs> and we would just be like, no, thanks. And then uh, this kid that Malf knew, who was, like, 6'4", 290 in the 10th grade, took offense to them trying to cause a commotion so he uh, pushed one of them over onto the floor and then got on top of him and said, like, what are you doing in my school? What are you doing in my school? What are you doing in my school? That was like the craziest one I think that happened. That's all, I, that guy, I don't even know the kid who is now like an adult two years younger than me or whatever, but, um, yeah, another story I heard from Malf that I love is that when Malf worked at the convenience store, he used to come in there every day and get a slushie, and then his mom got pissed off because the slushies are like $5 each in the year 2004, which is like the cost of a bubble tea today. Um, so she said, I'm just going to buy him a slushie machine. And then he didn't come into the store for like two days, and the third day he came back, and Mike was like, I thought you got your own slushy machine. And he said, they don't taste the same. <laughs> Which is, is so good, man. Why do they not fight back? Because they're teenagers, man. All they know how to do is talk on the damn phone and throw eggs in my house. Make fun of my shoes in public. Oh, look at, look, dude, little bros really got the white socks with the black New Balances, love. Itch ball, dude, itch ball. Jerry, itch ball. She made fun of you for lamowing? She made fun of me for lamowing, Jerry. She said people don't lamow anymore. People don't lamow anymore? It's itch ball now, it's all itch ball. I just switched from LOL to LMAO, and now they switched to me again. Kramer shows up. Says, they switched it up on you? Age bowl. Everybody laughs. Ad for joining the Navy SEALs. <laughs> Yo. Oh, what the hell, man? It's all right, the generator's on. No, it's Leatherface. Leatherface, is my kill? Leatherface, this one's for me. This is my kill, Leatherface. Head her off at the pass. My kill. <laughs> it's all right, I got, a, I got a real assist on that one. Oh, it's over. Can I get in on this too? Can I get a slice? Huh? Huh? What'd you say? What'd you? Huh? 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 Oh, it hurts. You're dead. I can't hear you. I can't hear you. Oh, that was a good game. Balanced killer game. You know which meme is like really annoying to me? 
is the one where the dude is mining, but the diamonds are like one swing away. Because that's actually, people always use it for like when someone quits gambling or something like that. But the truth is, like the meme is actually kind of true. It's like you never know if the next one would be the one where you hit the diamonds. Like imagine quitting on the swing before you hit the diamonds, man. That, <laughs> you gotta wait till you hit the diamonds and then you must quit immediately. Get it twisted. Keep gambling. You will win all your money back. Or the Goodfellas meme that is like, um, when you gamble, you can only lose all of your money, but you can win 200 times your money. It's simple math. I am not, I mean, you already know this. I'm not a gambling Andy. In fact, and I think I've probably alienated some of my audience here. If you, if you gamble, I don't really care. It's the public personalities for whom gambling becomes their entire life that I'm more like, couldn't be me. Like, it seems cr every once in a while you'll find like someone will make a sports tweet that finds its way into my for you page. It's the exact same thing I did last time. Um, and then I like click on their profile and I'm like, oh, or do they have good sports takes? And then they're posting about the spread on a major league baseball regular season game between two non contenders. And I'm like, you are addicted to gambling. If you're gambling on a game between the Oakland Athletics and the Chicago White Sox and you don't live in Oakland or Chicago, you should talk to somebody. That's just normal people. No, that think that it's being normalized, okay? I don't think it's normal. I think it's becoming normal people, which is why I'm out here saying that it's cringe in the hopes that maybe it'll stop like one person from doing it and then they'll save their money and give it to me because I'm their favorite streamer. How does this compare to Dead by Daylight? Um, Dead by Daylight is a weird game for me to talk about because I'm like not qualified to talk about it on anything other than like a hide and seek level. I would say it's basically the same core gameplay as Dead by Daylight but it does feel like you have a little bit more variety in what you're doing as a um, as a survivor and as a as a killer as well. It does only have one map, but I'm here to tell you that that's a positive because I can't even figure out this map. It also uh, where it delineates itself from Dead by Daylight, the phases of the game as a survivor feel different. Like instead of just like generator, 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 generator. Like you're, they're actually, you're doing different stuff. Well, no, not really. <laughs> now that I think about it, you're kind of just, you're doing stuff in the basement and then you're doing stuff in the house and then you're doing stuff in the outside. But uh, still, it feels a little different, I would say. It is cool that the killer has teammates because like it used to be if you didn't kill anybody, then you had nobody to blame but yourself. Now, you got somebody to blame, which feels fantastic, even if you know deep down it's all your fault. Hello. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, man. The hunt is over. I, I think I got a gravity assist on that one personally. I was pretty good. Dude, I got like no points. I, I did pretty well. It's, you know what? You don't get... They don't respect feeding grandpa. And that's sad. I will say our hitchhiker did an amazing job. Who was your favorite person on Storage Wars? How can you not like Barry? Of, of all the individuals on Storage Wars, I mean like Barry was, he's pack one, pick one. Did he like to wear hats? Are you making a bald joke about Jared? Because Jared liked to wear hats. Is that what you're getting at? You're, you make it a bald joke, Fawn Flame? I mentioned this in a SAP video. 
But like, and I don't, Corey's probably doing his own stream, so he, he can't comment on this, but this is, I'm being sincere with you. One of the most annoying parts about being bald is that I wear a hat outside to avoid getting a sunburn, but I feel like if I ever take my hat off to like wipe sweat off my brow or something like that, everybody that sees my bald head assumes that I'm wearing a hat because I'm embarrassed about my baldness, but I'm not embarrassed about my baldness. It just is what it is. Between you and me, my hair is thinning a bit. Oh, your highness, I'm sure it's not that noticeable. Bald! 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 My eyes! All right, all right. I need to wear like a shirt that says, I'm not embarrassed to be bald. I just have to take my hat off sometimes. Why do you care what other people think? First off, coming from Twitch chat, that's rich. Secondly, I guess the answer is because like, you know, it's built into our genes to be like social creatures because in our evolutionary history, like being well liked within our tribe was very important for our survival and proliferation. I don't know. I mean, how, you're not my therapist. How deep you want to get into this? I don't have all the answers. You ever considered the Gallagher route and getting a hat with hair attached? First off, I had to do the translation because you typed route, R-O-U-T. R-O-U-T-E is the route that you're talking about. R-O-U-T is uh, what happened in 1456 when the Turks took over Constantinople, okay? Secondly, you've been watching my stream for nine years. You ever think about getting a different joke? It's 1453, son of a bitch, <laughs> we were so close. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I had it in the palm of my hand too. What's the joke, I missed it? The joke is he's bald. Holy shit, whoa, I have some troubling allegations. It turned into, I think that I found out that he's bald. What, no way, shocked, lion shocked, Walter shocked. Oh, watch this though, sell me, buff me, chinchilla's overpowered. Now we got a six, six chinchilla. I don't know why in my head I was like, Godzilla, King Kong, Loch Ness, chinchilla, Leatherface, sissy, the ghost face killer. That's not Billy Joel, that was Jay-Z. Billy Joel would be like, you know, Godzilla, King Kong, Loch Ness, Panmujam, North Korea, South Korea, Marilyn Monroe. I th I'm not saying, this is, I'm acknowledging a realm in which I have ignorance, okay? I know a, something about rap music, but somehow I just, I missed the entire Jay-Z era. You know, I think I was not listening to rap music when he got started, because I was like eight years old. And then I listened to um, H to the Izzo. And then I started listening to Wolf Parade. So I missed almost all of Jay-Z. So the fact that basically all I know him for is like um, the American Gangster soundtrack and his guest verse on Monster is like, I, I don't understand Jay-Z, but that's a me thing, okay? What about Empire State of Mind? Well, like, everybody makes mistakes. I'm not gonna hold that against him, okay? That's a good song, though. How, simple question, okay? How old were you when Empire State of Mind came out? Because I feel like if you were, like, six when it came out, it might be, like, your favorite song of all time. But if you were 20, it was hell. Because you just could not, as it was playing everywhere. And I don't even live in the country in which New York is based. Much less New York City itself. Or like a Midwestern town of 15,000 people that thinks New York is like uh, heaven on earth. I think it's a great city, by the way. It's just like after a certain length of time, you're like, I just can't hear this damn song again. Why are you judging songs based on your own bad taste in radio? Guy offended the most popular song of all time is catching a little bit of flack for being overplayed. Yeah, yeah, what's a song you like? Oh, really? You like Tom Waits' Rain Dogs? Uh, okay, what about another song you like? Is there another, is there another song you like? Oh, you're really into uh, the Velvet Underground White Light, White Heat, huh? Oh, is there, I'm indefensible. 
I mean, unassailable. I have perfect taste, okay? Except maybe I listen to Sophie B. Hawkins. Damn, I wish I was your lover a little bit too much. Something about that synth bass. The... You know that one? Do, you play, do they play a lot of Carly Rae Jepsen on Canadian radio? I don't know, because I don't drive like a truck for a living or like work in a grocery store or like the front room of a doctor's office. Like I'm just, I don't listen to the radio anymore. Are we ready for the conversation, by the way? Do you think, I, I don't know if I'm willing to be this guy yet, but I think in 2023, I might be taking the position and you can't take anything away from apologies for the Queen Mary and you, you can't take much away from something like at Mount Zoomer but I think I might possibly be more of a sunset rub down head than a wolf parade head and I know it's it's not the majority position I've come here organically after after quite a lot of listening to both but I think I might be a sunset rub down guy what about frog eyes? I love some frog eyes as well. What is he saying? Some of you weren't sucked off in the <laughs> sucked up in the era of Montreal-based indie rock circa the mid 2000s, and it shows. Nah, I'm 36. I mean, if you are 36 and you have bad taste in music, you have my respect because you probably have like the most normal ass life of all time, right? Chibli will validate, but you might think that because I like don't like Imagine Dragons or Meteora from Linkin Park, like I have bad taste in music. The truth is we're just running in different spheres and that's okay. Chib will tell you, I got good taste in music and as a result of that good taste in music, I can't put myself in the shoes of someone who doesn't care to have good taste in music and instead just hears a song in the radio and is like, I like that one. And then they like choose to buy the CD or something like that. That must be crazy. You must have like a, a unionized blue collar job with a pension and like three kids and like a robust social network surrounding you. Because instead of like having a lot of time on your own as a as a teenager, um, where you would naturally you gravitated to stuff like uh, forums and pitchfork media and stuff like that. You just went out with your friends and they put on like a song. You're like, holy shit, Snow Patrol. This is like the deepest song I've ever heard in my entire life. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm a little jealous, quite frankly, that you have no opinion on Ted Leo and the Pharmacist's cover that they did for the AV club of Tears for Fears, Everybody Wants to Rule the World. I'm a little, em I'm a little embarrassed that I do, okay? I'm a little embarrassed that I think I'm too good to listen to Bright Eyes. Whereas when you heard it, you would be like, holy cow, this kid's revolutionizing country music for the modern millennial generation, okay? Bright Eyes, country, what? Some of you weren't alive when I'm Wide Awake, It's Morning came out, and it shows, okay? And that's not your fault, you're 22. I wasn't alive when Remain in Light came out. Now, at age 17, I went back and I sorted that shit out, but... I'm 40? Okay, well then just go back and listen to the Foo Fighters and leave me alone, okay? We're talking about stuff that you don't understand. Grandpa, who is six years older than me, start saying shit like Fleetwood Mac's coming to town. Is it worth $387 for standing room only seats? We're talking about Lil Ugly Maine, okay? We're talking about Phoebe Bridgers. There had, wait, no, there definitely didn't have to be. Wait, I'm, you know I'm running the same squad. <laughs> but wouldn't it be funny if there was one guy who was invited to go see Oppenheimer but then decided, no, I'm not gonna watch Oppenheimer because I don't want to see the sex scenes. So then instead he went to the Phoebe Bridgers concert and then she pulled off her top and flashed everybody. And he was like, oh my God! Do you think that it's possible that there was one guy there were probably thousands of people in attendance, right? There could have been one guy. See, I'm not like other guys. I would look respectfully at the scene where they're having sexual intercourse, but I would cover my eyes when they built the bomb because war is bad. 
It feels so fucking good when you hit that like one good joke per stream. <laughs> Sorry, I fucked this up so bad. <laughs> I'm gonna fucking lose, man. I saw that joke on Twitter already. Okay, I did not see it on Twitter, but great minds think alike. I could believe that it was made on Twitter before. So true, shaking my head when they build the bomb so that people in the audience know I don't suppo support war. 10 piece me, 10 piece me. Please, please, please. My snake? Okay, well we got to A, that's still our best. Okay, slash marker sap. That was my best run of the day, slash marker sap. Oh, okay. Good squeep, squeep. Close, close window. Speed run. Edit stream info. Celebrating the Steam release of Marvel Snap. Game name, Marvel Snap. Drops are enabled, by the way. Slash marker, Marvel Snap. I'm very excited today to be playing some Marvel Snap. Thank you for the sponsorship. Thank you for the mandated reminder to make FTC disclosure. Marvel Snap is available on Steam with full widescreen support as of like 11.35 Pacific time today, which is in the past. You can hit exclamation point snap and check it out for yourself. There's a lot going on. There's a couple of things to mention, okay? The first off is the Steam release. Secondly, Twitch drops are now enabled. If you watch for two hours, you get an exclusive Nightcrawler alternate card art. If you watch for, and it's not just me, it could be any streamer if you want, that's playing this with drops on. If you watch for four hours, I think you get a Moon Girl alternate art. If you watch for six hours, I believe you get a Sunspot alternate art. Now. I haven't played Marvel Snap in a little bit, but as you can see, I'm level 552. So you, uh, I'm, I'm something of a big deal. Now, if you haven't played Marvel Snap before, you've never seen Marvel Snap before, it won 2022 Mobile Game of the Year at the Game Awards. Are you living under a rock? Are you living inside of a barn? Like what's going on? The way that it basically works, you have to, uh, when you play characters, from your favorite Marvel properties, they have a power level associated with them. If your power level on a lane is higher than your opponent's, you win that lane. If you win two out of three lanes, you win the game. There's also the snap mechanic, because you're playing for cubes. These cubes are like ranking points, okay? Um, a normal game, the winner gets two cubes. You can snap, and then the game goes to double or nothing and then get ready, they could snap too, and then you could have an eight cube game. So you can get big swings. It also means that, that it takes on a little bit of a, uh, a poker type quality to it. It's open season on all suckheads, by the way, um, because there might be some circumstances where you're like, I don't want to risk it on an eight cube game right now, so I am going to resign from this one and then go back into the next one. I have to look at my Mine Hulk Buster on reveal. Merge this card with a random friendly card at this location. If I play Hulk Buster here, now I have a question for you. If I play Hulk Buster here, will this cause the on reveal of Iron Fist to go first on the stack? Kick Hulk Buster over here and then he'll merge with the monster? No, it will combine with nothing. Hulk Buster will go first on the stack. Okay, duly noted. On reveal, move your highest power card to this location. I ran out of time. <laughs> but apparently I'm playing a bot, so I'll probably be okay. That's embarrassing. Spider-Man, Miles Morales. If a card moved last turn, this costs one. Okay, you can see the combo being set up right now, okay? It's a very simple combo. We're gonna start... I'm embarrassed with <laughs> Even the bot said I've had enough of this. Okay, I'm gonna play, I was explaining things for the viewer. I was explaining things for the viewer and you're gonna hit me with this BM? 
You could have Hulk bustered Hulk though. Could have, should have, would have, brother. Could have done a lot of stuff, okay? Could have done a lot of stuff. Now, honestly, I, you got to play 12 energy here just to tie me. That's not going to happen. But I'm going to bet that you're going to go for it anyway. So here's what we're going to do, okay? I mean, I, I simply don't see... I know we're not... Oh, you can... Oh, that's right. I, I, for some reason, I thought I could move you here. I'm getting rid of this entire lane. I'm not even worried about the Craven buff, man. Maybe I should... You're three. You're going to come to six. You're going to be 11. You'd have to play 13 to catch me. I mean, it's, it's very hard for me to imagine that we lose this one. But I, it could happen. Left lane, they can't beat us. Right lane... We can't win. Middle lane, they're not even going for it, dude. You can't beat me on this lane. You can't be, you, you, you went all in on the left lane. You can't beat me. Magneto, I don't even know what he does. You made my Craven so strong. What's Magneto? Move all opposing three and four card, five, four, three and four cost cards of this location. I, what? Iron Man doubled the power? I know. I just didn't think the number would get bigger. <laughs> I wasn't even looking at the numbers. That's how confident I was. Let me guess. 2-1 co- <laughs> I destroyed my own Iron Fist. At least it wasn't 2-1 cost cards. That would have... They snapped on me? A millennial snap, huh? I don't think they're going to be able to compete on Death's Domain. So we just have to win one other lane. So we play Vision over here. We're going to feign the Vision moving to buff the Craven. But actually, we're going to play Heimdall. Just wait for it! Shang-Chi. Destroy all enemy cards at this location that have nine or more power. No risk of that, brother. I'm, I'm snapping on you. Because we're going to win this lane. You, we, you can't compete with me on this lane. We don't want Vision to move here. Vision should move here. We're going to win this lane, and then we also want to win this lane. How does one win this lane? You play your strongest unit right here. It'll give us one less multiple man trigger. And we'll have 4, 7, 15, 23. You're already on 19. You can't, you can't touch me. You can't touch me. Witness the power of the Bifrost, brother. Motherfucker. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't expect the white tiger, man. I didn't expect the white tiger. Who's running white tiger? That's a Dan Giesling card. It's whatever. We level up our kitty pride. We said Heimdall right? Yeah, and I play Heimdall left. You want to play the game for yourself? You go exclamation point snap, download it. You gotta listen to us. You seem to have a interesting definition of the word "got to." I'm not. It's not fair to my opponent to let five thousand people come up with the optimum move, right? I'm playing one on one, and I've got a little Sim City advisor in the ear that's like, "Here's what you should do." Keep getting Discord pings, and I'm worried that it's uh, my manager telling me that the sponsor has opted to. Uh, rip our contract in half because they just saw what I said when I played Texas Chainsaw Massacre where uh, like every quote out of context is like, I'm going to kill and eat this person. But it's my wife sending me Instagram videos. She's sending me Instagram links. You know how I'm getting old? My wife sent me an Instagram reel the other day. I don't know if it's called a reel, but an Instagram whatever. And it was about pickleball. I don't even play pickleball. But she said, hey, this reminds me of you. 
I'm a pickleball instructor. You need to be bouncy. You need to be bouncy. To be honest with you, I have no idea why this sport exploded. These people have no idea how much of a scam this is. So what you're doing wrong yeah. is you're donking your dinks. When you're dinking, you can't be donking. That's you, you're donking your dinks. I'm just making shit up at this point. Sometimes you go rogue, all right? So this is, I call this a cycloning. This isn't even a real sport. It was invented for the elderly to improve their blood circulation. Now every 30 something with no stamina and bad knees is hitting me up to learn how to play. These people are too unathletic for tennis and too poor for golf. This is their only option. Dink it. You call that dinking? I am making so much money off of this. The key to pickleball is a good paddle. I'm selling these for 300 a piece. Who wants one? Yeah, I got really burned by crypto. This really saved me. You'd be surprised with what people believe when they're paying you $150 an hour. This is why they call it pickleball. Okay, ready? Pickle. There you go, right there. See how I did that? And you, the best part is I watched it and I laughed. I said that was pretty funny. <laughs> What can I say? She's got me pegged. I'm kind of crazy. Like, what's my win rate? And let's ignore the fact that a lot of our games were against bots to start with. By the way, I would much prefer if they set up like some kind of system where I could go up against streamers. Because I'm hearing a lot. I've got a lot of snitches in the chat saying every other streamer is running the default starter deck. Not me. I'm a certified... Marvel Snap OG, okay? What are you copying? What are you taking from me? What did you take from me? She kitty on my pride till I meow. Next win gets you out of the realm of the bots. Only, we've only played like four bots, okay? The rest have been humans. All the bots are called like Dave. We've been playing people that are named like Nermex. Really think Vuge is gonna be a bot name with this profile image? I don't think so. You can't actually think that's not a bot name. Are you crazy? Emote and see if they respond. Okay, I will admit that's kind of a bot play to not load up on the Gamma Lab. Like I think you want to play like a three here. Move your Hulk over. Drop a multiple man on top. And then this is literally if they just don't contest this lane. Now it's a bit of a goofy play, but you see, sometimes the best play is not the best play if they expect it to be the best play. So instead you run the second best play and nothing can stop you, brother. Let's see. I think we need to get more than 24 points on this lane. We got 23. Oh, with a little eight on top of it and then a... We both get killed. Oh, you got 32. I got 31. Oh. Oh. Oh, good game though. Good game. That's how you know it's a real person there. They beat me. Straight up. It's not a bot. They wouldn't name their... See? We got the same name and you're going to tell me this is a bot. No, no, no. Un undo all actions. We need to make sure that Hulkbuster matches with multiple man. And then next turn we play Heimdall, and you lose, sir. I said good day. And now you, well, let's think about this. <laughs> oh yes, you lose, sir. I said good day. Now, you just, multiple man moving over wins this lane, and you stay in this lane. You drop a Heimdall right here, and you get these two lads over. That'll give you 15. They'll, they might win right side. Who cares about right side? You can't compete. You can't compete with me on these lanes. Meow. Doesn't matter. That's a real person. Nobody's out here naming their kids Jasper in the modern day, right? Hang on, hang on. Hello? Oh, hello. Hello. Uh, I've, I've seen that you're also sponsored by Marvel today! Exclamation point snap in chat for the celebration of the Steam launch of Marvel Snap! I wasn't originally sponsored. I had this segment blocked out three months ago. I said I'm going to play Marvel Snap from 1 to 3 p.m. <laughs> Pacific time on this Tuesday in August. And wouldn't you know it, 
the... <laughs> Sometimes it, you can manifest uh, your reality. Um, wh would you like to take on a one head, one v one battle? I would love to, especially because okay. I, with you, I'm, I've got about maybe eight minutes left. Holy um, with, with, without chat spoiling, I just would like for you to know there is a theme to my deck. Okay. Okay. So it's not just there's a theme, um, but I'd like to wish you luck in our first ever snap off. What if, what if we made an all pog deck? Just hear me out. It's just gonna be, I'm just gonna pick it randomly and see how it goes, okay? Just at random. So that was a fucking lie. To you as well? Hey, hey, I mean, just a gentleman's snap to start with, right? That's, that's BM, is it? Snapping on turn one BM? Who said I snapped uh, for BM? Maybe I snapped because I like Strange Academy. Okay, that's fine. What do you, what are your thoughts on exclamation point snap and chat? What are your thoughts on this game? Uh, you can derive my thoughts because uh -huh. my collection level is 572. I've never seen Iron Fist before, by the <laughs> way. So like... There you go. What do you got there? Wolfsbane. Okay. <laughs> uh, literally, I'm not even joking. Every card you play pops up as for me as never mm. seen before. So you're pretty deep. Jessica Jones. Okay, I, I think I have a theme. <laughs> okay. Your oh, wait, wait, are you going to lock You're going to lock it in. You don't want to see one more card first? I think your theme is uh, comic book women. <laughs> how close How close am I on that one, do you think? <laughs> um, You tell me <laughs> after you see this next card. Okay. All right. I understand. This next card will either determine it as yes or no. Who is multiplicity, man? You just wait. You don't know what's coming, brother. Who's who's Hemlock? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what? Why are they all rainbow now? You freaking oh my shot my Gamora, God. bro. And then look at this. All of my units get buffed on move, and then that thing moves everybody on the fifth turn. Look at this. <laughs> What is this? <laughs> oh, it's a black hole. Oh. What just happened? You don't, you don't even want to know, brother. <laughs> you don't even want to know. So my deck, the, the theme of my deck is moving my cards around. Okay. So the, the, I know that your theme is... Is <laughs> what? <laughs> wait, wait, this, this is going to change everything. I, my last card. You don't like Doctor Str Odin? <laughs> that's not a that's not a lady. That's a god. Yeah, you can come here, buddy. You oh, were? Man. Hey, will you will you tell um will you tell him not to play all his fancy cards against me? I'm not Don't play all your fancy cards against Dad. <laughs> okay, okay. How am I supposed to argue with that? Now I watch. Which, are any of these scary? Ryan, are any of these cards scary? I'm trying to think. I don't think so. All right. What do you... I'm, I'm hoping this is not like a <laughs> live stream fails clip waiting to happen. It's like <laughs> somebody slides on the screen with a lightsaber or something like that. Just just don't look at Electro, okay? Oh, so I'll tell you when you're older. All right, love you, buddy. I'll be done in a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you who Electra is when you're a little bit older. <laughs> go, go. Mm, Jennifer Garner. <laughs> she dips beneath the lasers. I'll I'll draw a picture for you of her later. No, go. <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> yeah, uh, I already know what I'm dropping here. Okay. <laughs> sorry, sorry. No, no. Right. Hey, here's right. it. So listen, you only got two okay. life left. All right. Oh yeah, I was wondering what those chiclets were. So it's like in this mode, mm -hmm. you lose like one life if you lose if you retreat, two lives if you s lose, four if you snap and lose, and eight if you both snap and lose. Got it. So for me to survive, can I? If I retreat, we got another. If it's not looking good, I can retreat. Well, I'm snapping on you. 
So if unless you retreat this turn, yeah, then you're. I'm making you choose right now. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I didn't. Li I didn't like my draw. I didn't like my draw. <laughs> this is a really well designed game. I love the like the the bluffing mechanics and the the poker. Yeah. <laughs> like someone early, I I joined the game. They snapped on me instantaneously. I said, "Enjoy your one cube, brother. I'm not. Life's too short to be playing around with." turn one snaps for no reason. Now, just right. because I'm an honorable individual, you're on one life. There's no reason for me to do this, but I mean, oh, they won't let me snap. Never mind. Now I look like a piece of garbage. So I, I mean, I thought I was flexing on chat when I said I was collection level like 572. And then they said uh, they're like collection level 5,000. So <laughs> can you uh, lose? What does that mean? You earn resources that allow you to level up your cards. When you level okay. up your cards, that levels up your entire collection, which is what allows you to get more cards. Like that's Got how it. you unlock all these, these rare Andes you're seeing right here. <laughs> <laughs> to put it in a parlance we can all understand. Okay, I got you. So the higher, so your collection level 5,000 is like, you're basically, Right next to Stanley. Well, I don't know. People are telling me this, that 5,000 isn't even that much anymore. Someone in chat just said they're at 12,834. That's a, I would call that a relatively high number, personally. 5,000 is very mid. I got another visitor. Hey, um... Oh, there's no problem. Will you ask him if he has a rook? Say, hey, do you have a rook? <laughs> <laughs> I'll be down in a minute. <laughs> I know you just got... You just got back from a trip with three kids. Oh, you just gave me a dollar? Well, thanks thanks for liking and subscribing. <laughs> thanks for the five cents. Yeah. Who is this? This is Killmonger. He kills all one cost units. Oh man, I wouldn't want to be you right now. That's all I'm going to say. I don't think you're in the world of hurt, brother. I don't know. I think there's a chance you might be able to take this one. So it all depends. It all depends on what you. Here we go, here. baby. Here we go. It's this. Oh. I think Ryan. I I think you might have me on this one. Bob Odenkirk. <laughs> By one. Look at that. <laughs> By one. I got one more. You got one more. Well, of course. oh yeah. Well, you got you got to either finish me up. So you only lost one chicklet. Yeah, I I think I don't know if you can snap, but if you can't snap, you need to win ten in a row, <laughs> which doesn't seem that doesn't seem fair. But watch this. You go like this. You go like this. Chat, what is he doing? I've got, a, you, I've got a cook over here, but I also got to go to the bathroom a little bit, okay? Just have mercy. <laughs> then you go over here, and then you go, oh! Kitty Pride, I'm familiar. Domino. I keep wanting to call you that women in song. What does Doctor Strange do? Doctor um. Strange moves the highest power card to this location but for some reason he didn't move the highest power card to this location why didn't he move iron fist over oh because he's on reveal oh something amusing why are you getting mad at iron fist that's who you are i did it wrong i did it wrong you have a PlayStation 5 card. You got anything against Miles Morales? No, I've never seen that card. I think I might get this one. I think I may get this one. I think this one may be another steal. I don't know about that, but I'm, I'm starting to lose brain power due to my full bladder. So we'll see. What the heck is Giganto? <laughs> you can only play this at the left location. I'm going to take Disco Elysium. I'm telling you that. Like, don't even try to go for it. I can't, I, right. can't, I can't think, man. I can't think. I think you drop this. And then you drop mm -hmm. that and you pray. 
If this, if this doesn't, if we don't win this one, I got to go to the bathroom before the next game. Oh, baby. I may have just forced it. I may have chat is this may be the biggest giga brain move you've ever seen. Come on, baby. Give me, give me more numbers than you. Kitty pride. I saw, I saw the white tiger coming. I'm not, I think he got me. He got me. I gotta go to the bathroom. I'll be right back. Oh. Chat. We're hanging tight. It doesn't matter. As long as we have one green chiclet left, we gotta say thanks to Marvel for sponsoring this moment. This segment of the show, check out Marvel Snap on Steam, exclamation point snap in chat. The comeback kid chat. Wait, can we play a card? Ooh, let me get Kitty Pride in quickly, quickly, chat. Chad, what's his timer at? What's his timer at? Also, oh, we're 17. Oh, sorry, sorry, me? you're back. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Okay, sorry. here's the, let, let's call this one, this is for all the marbles. Okay, I'm with you, I'm with you. He doesn't know I drew Kitty Pride. <laughs> <laughs> or does he? Oh, you, I didn't know you had Kitty in your deck. Mm. So we'll see whoever wins this one actually wins. Is that fair? Sure. Yeah, that's. I'm. I'm completely okay with that. Yeah. Now here's where a little poker comes into play, my friend. Mm, yes. Poker. I think you're I've gonna do that, that. Not, and I think you're gonna do this. Oh, you, is that Kitty Pride? <laughs> Wait, why didn't she shoot her? Because you revealed first. Ooh, cards revealed here have a 25% chance to be destroyed. Big Gamba. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I know. All I right. know what I'm doing here. Watch this. It's going to be one of those. Then it's going to be one of those in a past turn. One of these and one of these. No, I don't want to do that. Speaking of my Miles Morales, I see you hiding in here. Mm -hmm. I see you hiding. He's changed the location. Of course. Don't shoot that. me with that. Yeah, do not. You can show it off, but don't shoot me with that. <laughs> uh oh. Here, you can hold it up right there. You can. Sh don't shoot it. I'm trying. He's he's got he's got resin cards. Resin cards means he's been playing too much. The guy I'm going against. Um. It's a close game right now. Your honestly, dad's gonna win. I, I made a grievous your error, honestly. Your dad's gonna win right here. I mean, you gotta go this. I think he's gonna play in the mid. Oops. It's a little strange. Um, I'll be down in a minute, I promise. This is the last game. What the heck just happened? What was that? Oh, that was uh, that was turn five. I it doesn't get any spicier than this. Look at this. Okay, this is a bit that's a big play right here. Hmm. What are you gonna do here, Ryan? Uh, it's, uh, it's unknown. It's unknown what I'm gonna do here. Am I going to play the six cost card that my entire deck is themed around? I think I might consider it. This is it. for all the marbles. What do we got coming out here? A white tiger? White tiger, maybe? <laughs> How did you oh. know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, good game. Good games. Good game. I mean, you won two. I won two, and I forced you to resign once, which was just honestly bm more than anything else so <laughs> it doesn't get any more even than that no, it was a good game it was fun i'm glad we got a chance to play and um big thank you to marvel for sponsoring both of us independently yeah i hope you in enjoyed your time <laughs> i'll see you call. ryan yeah later right, later later i had to do it <laughs> This has been Marvel Snap. It's available now on Steam. You may have been waiting for native widescreen support. It's now available. It's 2022's Mobile Game of the Year as certified by The Game Awards. You can get alternate art cards simply for watching Marvel Snap streams. And it's a lot of fun. 
It's, it's an all-time great phone game, without a doubt. It has placed itself on the Mount Rushmore of phone games already, and it's still, you know, being developed and updated and patched and hit with content injections as we speak. Thanks again for the sponsorship. It's a great game! Let me... Okay, Kate is live already. I'm going to send you over there. Enjoy the rest of your evening, and I'll see you tomorrow. What are we going to do tomorrow? It's a great question. I don't have an answer for you yet, but it's a great question. But I'll see you then. I love it when you suck me like that and when you close them. Give me the shivers, two or three, and baby, we're going to go till I split your crack. And when you see the body's over, then you throw it right back. I said, ooh, something said that. Uh, was I close? He doesn't say that. He says something like that. You make me feel like I'm living a teenage dream. The way you suck me off, I go. And don't ever look, baby, with your ripped up jeans and your skin tight jeans and your teenage jeans tonight. That's a banger, too. But you didn't have to suck me off. Put my underpants down and throat my member But you didn't have to bite it off And spit it out and get and it feel so low <laughs> What? Something like it's so I didn't write the song, dude. It's something like that, okay? Leave those parodies to Justin. I still think about it every time I hear the song, which is like every 80s ride on Peloton. John Cougar Mellencamp's uh, Jack and Diane. Sucking off chili dudes inside the morgue's deep freeze. Jack's wearing a winter coat. He's got a pillow underneath his knees. Let them rock. Let them roll. Let the Bible Belt come and save my soul. I think about your pisses on my lips like all the time. Because your piss, your piss is on my lips. Because your piss, your piss, I can't resist. Because your piss is on my lips. When I turn out the lights. <laughs> I have Vanessa Carlton song stuck in my head, except it's sucking a dick downtown. Sucking fast, stations passed, and I'm homebound. <laughs> And I throat you. I don't know why I'm using throat. I guess because you gotta, you need a lot of synonyms for suck in order to make the song feel clever. And I piss you.